I just felt so out of place. I have probably lost all my upper body strength and it broke, so, so let's take a bite. Cheers. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sleep. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. I make Pokemon Sleep related videos. And, oh, forgot to turn the game volume on, but it should be on now. So, I woke up today feeling very blocked. Once again, my ears were blocked, I guess, just from all the pressure of the mucus in my head. So it took me a while to unblock that, but we're good now. And also, it is snowing today. And it's like the fluffy type of snow. So yeah, winter tire season is upon us. And shoveling and slush. I need to get new boots for the winter. So, no shiny today. So yesterday, it's probably been like five weeks since I've last taken my dance class. So yesterday was my first night back. And you guys, I don't know if it's just the lack of momentum from taking classes or what it is, but I just felt so out of place. I definitely was challenged. There was a lot of improv during the warm up to like improv to higher tempo music that I just do not have any dance moves in my repertoire for. So, oh, I didn't even notice. Bonsley has like a hole on the bottom of him. Interesting. But yeah, I just felt very uncomfortable. Now, the second portion when we're learning choreography that part was fun so i got a comment on my last video saying that my iggly buff was not good and i know it's like not the best but when i plugged the stats in on the rain on calculator it was pretty decent but i do want to search for a better one so I'll give my cookie to this one, to this Eagle Buff. Oh wait, or did last episode I catch an Eagle Buff? Or were they referring to my Eagle Tough and that's what I was talking about earlier? I'm gonna have to look that up later, but <clears throat> we will catch this one. Actually, now I'm curious, so let me just pull up the comment real quick. So, Renee Sake commented, Kelly is not a good one, has no skill trigger at the first two slots, and no skill trigger up nature. The gold skills are not good as well. So, thank you for the feedback, Renee. I appreciate it, and I will... Try to catch a better one. So yeah, I felt really uncomfortable in my first day back in dance class, but you know, with practice and dancing in front of the mirror by yourself at home, you get back into the groove of it. I feel like uh, a lot of dance is also just like feeling yourself and I gotta practice feeling myself. Let's do this one. They're both bouncy sleep, but the portrait is a bit different. She's like disappearing into the sand. Now today, I'm looking forward to my first time back in pole dance class for a while, it's been a while. And I have probably lost all my upper body strength, so this class, I know I'm gonna feel it in my arms and in my core afterwards. 
So last night I actually um, ran out of space in my inventory for my ingredient bag. So I upgraded it. So now it could hold 300 ingredients. So that is good. Oh no, my bag is full again. Let's cook. I don't have enough apples, so I'll make this. <clears throat> Oh, another sad thing that happened so the guys if you guys watched the other video where I made the Rement Bonsai 2 collection from the Pokemon Center I got I was playing around with the maple leaves because I wanted to kind of move them and I was too rough with it and it broke so now there's just a pile of leaves that fell on the floor yeah, these are pretty delicate. And normally I like to have fresh flowers in the place, but because I got sick for two weeks, I wasn't able to gather any fresh flowers after my Japan trip. But now that I'm feeling better, maybe next week, be able to go to the florist and pick up some flowers for the kitchen and to also put it in here this little vial but it'll have to be a small flower and I am stuck on this screen so let me reset so I was stuck on the level up screen since Snorlax Yep, we went to Ultra 3. Hopefully this time I could press the button. Okay, there you go. That is it. Now let's pick up my points. I don't even remember what I picked up for the Igly buff, like what what goodies. Okay, so it seems like with Renee's feedback I was able to get a better one. So she did mention or they mentioned has no skill trigger at the first two slots and no skill trigger up nature so now this one main skill chance up good I do have a skill trigger S on the 25 slot and a skill level 2 in the first slot which seems pretty good but is there a cap on the level like is this gonna I don't know let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely going to use a calculator later. But this compared to Kelly over here, one of my first Pokemon that I evolved. And this is before like the calculator and everything was out. So oh, I have skill trigger M, ingredient finder M. The nature is docile, so no effect. And what else did she say? The gold skills are not good as well, but Kelly doesn't have gold skills here. Oh wait, actually, let me see. They give me a second.
Oh, so they commented on an old video. And I believe that Kelly is different from this Kelly. So ignore what I said. Now, this is Kelly point two. In the video that they are referring to, which is 10 tips I wish I knew earlier, that was a different Kelly. That Kelly, I didn't know if she had potential or not. Eventually, thanks to the calculator, I learned that it was not a good Kelly. So I sent her back to the professor. And this one became the new Kelly. But now, you guys, now I'm wondering, should this be the new Kelly? I mean, I'm going to hook it up on the calculator after recording and decide. But I feel like this is a really great potential for the new Kelly. The only thing though is I wish the oil slot was at level 30. So compared to this one where Kelly would get it at level 30, the oil, which means they can gather my oil and my honey and I wouldn't have to rely on my ditto. Although MP gave really good tips on a tier list of what next ingredients are good in terms of priority and also which Pokemon you should get for those. So that was in my previous video titled in my previous video oh shoot I pressed the wrong thing I think it was called like wishes oh snacking weird dream and attack on titan ending so in the comment section you will be able to find that and my voice is giving out so sorry Renee I got your comment mixed up for another Pokemon that was in that video that I no longer have but let me know what you think about the one I got today and Kelly 2.0 Now let's move on to the bugged out a bit. We got closer. I kind of want to use the ingredient ticket right now. Let's discard this. And let's use it. Pure oil and honey. I was hoping for apples. A ginger would be good too. Now, as we go through the list, let's talk about today's snack. So, <clears throat> Tokyo banana, I've tried it in a previous video. But they have different type of cookies. So this time around, I picked up the, it's called cookie sand, which is probably short for sandwich. They love to do sandwich style cookies there, I've noticed. How cute, a smiley sleep. Geodude. Okay, so this is what the contents look like inside. Cute. Oops, sorry you guys, I hit the mic. So I've tried their regular Tokyo banana that they are popular for. And I've tried this one right here, the strawberry one, really good. But look at all the other stuff, you guys. That looks so good. And Oops, some more info that I cannot read. But this is what we're eating today. So, <clears throat> here it is, single serving. As expected from Japanese confectionaries and sweets. So, I wonder if it's gonna taste like cheese or just vanilla or maybe a hint of banana. It smells nice though. 
and there's that cute little banana icon there look how like perfect the square sheet of chocolate is and then the gradient from light to dark so let's take a bite cheers that is good there's like the faintest hint of banana i believe or maybe because i'm looking at the banana and i'm thinking of banana that I think it tastes a bit like banana. So, <clears throat> back in my university days, there was this experiment that I watched in one of my classes where, no, when I was in college. And I took a psychology of food and there was the segment where we were talking about the association of sight when it comes to food and how you taste food since a lot of the times we eat with our eyes, right? So what happened was they were serving these people, uh, a group of people, some yogurt and it was chocolate colored yogurt. However, the flavor was actually strawberry. So they give the yogurt to the people to eat and they ask them what flavor did you taste? And all of them said chocolate. Even though it was just strawberry yogurt colored as chocolate yogurt. So yeah, quite interesting. So that's why when I ate that, I'm like, hmm, is that really banana I'm tasting? Or is it my mind playing tricks on me, you know? So now that it seems like we are getting snow, this is like the weird transition period where you're not exactly sure like, what to wear you know because in the morning it's really cold but then as the evening comes along it's a bit warmer so are we wearing our down to winter jacket right now are we relying on our wool coats how many layers are we wearing can't tell if that's it's probably a regular one right i know that Elsier has a shiny pupitar. And another Caterpie. T uh, not tomorrow. Yesterday, I tried a new recipe. So I saw this roasted tomato soup online and I figured Pretty low effort, you just put everything on a sheet pan, season it, drizzle olive oil, and then you blend it all together and top it off with some heavy cream. So I made that yesterday and I was really happy with how it came out and we had a guest over so she had some as well and she really liked it. And my boyfriend enjoyed it as well and he ate a lot of the garlic bread with it. Garlic bread, I didn't make from scratch though. I just bought that at the grocery store. But yeah, it's like soup season. My first time trying it and I loved it. So that will definitely be on rotation. And tomorrow is Friday. So I'm thinking that is a good time to go pick up some groceries. I need to pick up more vegetables ingredients to make some winter melon soup and more fruits probably more meats as well cuts of meats like pork belly oh wait a minute oops oh look at that a shiny raichu it's like chocolate it makes me think of hot chocolate 
which I love hot chocolate during this time of the year because they come out with like fun flavors like mint hot chocolate. I love mint hot chocolate. And in the pack that I get, there's usually like the arrow flavor, the after eight flavor, which is the mint, and then the coffee crisp flavor as well, and Rolo. But this year, when I picked up the pack, they don't have the coffee crisp flavor anymore and that was one of my favorites because it tastes like creamy, wafery, really good. So unless my eyes deceive me and I'm just getting bad eyes that I can't really see the colors, it seems like there are no shinies today. So we are all just unlucky. I'm still waiting for the day I get my shiny Eevee and Lucario or Riolu. But that is today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining in another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what sort of Pokemon you guys are getting, what your team looks like currently, and what your dream team looks like. I'm always curious of what other people are building especially when it comes to the reasoning behind why so yeah let a girl know i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day take some time to do something fun take care of yourselves and hope to see you guys in the next video take care bye